Hi, this is Diego and Veronica here. And this is Kame, our floating home. Don't look at that. Living on a sailboat is quite an adventure. One definitely worth sharing. We hope that you enjoy this journey with us, that we are slowly adapting to a life in flow. So today is October 14th. We started our second leg from our passage, I guess. We're still in Martinique. La, uh, we stayed the last two nights on the first port and we're gonna head now to Port de France spend the next couple of nights there we're taking it slow it's very it's a very slow sail today and we got the captains here twins <laughs> Martin Jack you look very comfy there. Yeah, I like this spot. So tell me what was going on with the reefs. So we did get the sail up all the way. First, second, third reefs all shook out. Sails all the way up to the top. And we, we think that the lines are flip-flopped. There's red one and a white one on the other side because the right length one. of the line it's going up too far, so it came up short. So if you look up on the sail there, right above where the red line turns, there's a rope hanging with a knot in it. That rope's supposed to be back here in the cockpit, and it was too short to put the sail up. So we just let it loose up there and tied a small string just to hold it so we can pull it back down. And we think we can flop the red rope for that white rope and uh, make them the right length. And probably just whoever was putting it together says, this looks like the top one, this looks like the middle one. And that was a good guess, but looks wrong. No worries. Yeah. Uh, and the Admiral did a good job driving the boat while we were monkeying around on deck, getting everything up, arguing. <laughs> Who's the Admiral? You. <laughs> you in charge. Admiral's about the captain. <laughs> Very difficult sail today. Shackleton was a pansy. taking advantage of very little wind and speed. Not reading the wind again. Alrighty. But there's very little wind. As there's probably no noise in the home. And they're changing the lines. They got the front. Now they're gonna get the back. Okay, it's up.
But what's, what was so fun about this is that here we are in this very cute little spot out in the... Oh, hold on. I've got some coffee coming. From this gentleman here. <laughs> what's the most fun is we're out here in the middle of the, Pacific, middle of the Atlantic. I'm used to the Pacific. And we're sitting in a great little restaurant on a, on a really quaint little side street. And our friends back home have no idea what they're missing. And so we just wanted to get a couple minutes on video. So you can, we can share with you. This is the restaurant. We saw through here. I think my living room is bigger. But that's good. <laughs> so uh, yeah, just nice to see you and show you what it's all about. And now we're going to have a itty bitty coffee. And, uh, yeah. The food was absolutely delicious. And it was like a piece of art, the way they did it. And it's sad because uh, the, the owner was just saying that, or the, the gentleman that served us was saying that you know they're suffering because of COVID. Oh. And we're happy to we're happy to share our finances with these little places keep them going so yep. it's good fun oh. okay doke that's it for now bye bye and we just had dessert in this delicious ice cream place Glacier is ice cream so good and that was after eating in that little restaurant okay let's check it out she was so nice the food was so delicious and this is the restaurant I'll show the street it's on a little street right across from, whoa, <laughs> from Fort de France. There's a street. And, oh, the Port de France is right there. You can see the palm trees, water is on that side. So, check this out if you're ever in Martinique. Ferry stop for the France. And we are loaded with groceries. And marine stuff. Chris got his nice drive back too. So this is the rest of the city here in Fort de France. We walked all over yesterday, did a little bit of provisioning, ate in a delicious restaurant very close by the church. And yep, they were living very soon.
so beautiful. Mount Pele, behind the clouds. Crease somewhere there in front of the sun. <laughs> You are. Very nice. Very cool. I was in amphitheater. Right next to it. Okay. Someone's house. Oh wow. <laughs> Good morning, it's Mount Pele. Today is Monday, October 18th. It's not even 6 a.m. I'm waiting for the sun to rise behind that mountain. It's absolutely beautiful and calm. And our last day in Martinique. I figure it deserves seeing the sunrise. So calm, so lovely. Thank you, Martinique, for hosting us. Hey. Happy is awake.
so this is the last bit of Martinique top of Martinique and it looks like another diamond rock I'm not sure what that little island is called but it almost feels like deja vu going around the corner of Le Marine and finally seeing that diamond rock far away but this is the very top of Martinique we are headed to the next island up north can't see it on camera but it's on the horizon I do see it yeah we can see a little bit of a silhouette And goodbye to Martinique. It's been so lovely. I wish I could have explored some more. We could have explored some more due to lockdowns and curfews and other priorities like moving <laughs> aboard. We couldn't do much. But just enjoying this view comforting Goodbye Martinique